my dear students one student want a shortcut for this problem okay he is asking us to find out the voltmeter reading in this case okay so how are you going to find out the voltmeter reading in a super simple way the first thing is you know the upper resistance is 50 lower resistance is 50 upper is 50 lower is 50 when both the resistance are parallel and they are same then the resultant is half of any one means for all these four resistors you know net resistance is going to be how much 50 50 means 50 by 2 which is 25 ohms we got the net resistance we have got the net voltage we want the net current net current is net voltage by net resistance which is nothing but 2 by 25 which is nothing but 2 by 25 so which is amperes okay so in this circuit how much current is passing now the current passing is 2 by 25 in the whole circuit this current gets equally divided among these two here how much it has to flow it has to flow 1 by 25 okay 1 by 25 amperes here how much here also 1 by 25 amperes 1 by 25 amperes because 2 by 25 gets divided equally then you need to find out what is the potential at this place what is the potential at this place now potential at this place is nothing but v is equal to ir i is 1 by 25 into 20 so 20 by 25 and how much is the potential here here also v is equal to ir which is 30 into 25 is nothing but 30 by 25 here potential is 30 by 25 here it is how much 20 by 25 okay so uh, this point let us imagine it is a let us take this as b so v a is how much v a at this place is 30 by 25 uh, v b at this place is 20 by 25 and voltmeter reading is how much it is going to be the difference how much is the difference here now 30 by 25 minus 20 by 25 it is nothing but 10 by 25 okay so it's going to be how much 40 by 100 if you multiply with 4 40 by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 volts 0 0.4 volts that's it 